This is Cooking with Frankenfood, and I'm Carl Harl von Mogel. We're going to learn about how the Hawaiian papaya was transformed through genetic engineering to stop a devastating disease with some of the team that did it, Dr. Dennis Gonsalves and his wife Carol. And we're going to transform their papaya into four delicious foods, starting with how to prepare a papaya for a Hawaiian style breakfast. With me here is Dr. Dennis Gonsalves, the creator of the Rainbow Papaya, and his wife, Carol. Hello, thank you for uh, participating in this, helping well, us out. Well, good, good to try to help. So, uh, what do you have for us? What are we going to make today? Yeah, we're going to make uh, a very uh, tasty dish called chicken papaya soup, where we use green papaya and chicken in a soup base. And that's a very popular dish. Uh, for the Filipinos uh, mm -hmm. in Hawaii. And then we're also going to make a, a papaya salad mm -hmm. where, where we mix uh, ripe but firm papaya with mm -hmm. balsamic uh, vinaigrette and then uh, have that salad. And then, Kara, what are you going to make? I'm going to make a smoothie and also show you how we cut the papaya for breakfast, the simple cutting it in half and, and eating it without preparation. Okay, so the normal way we papaya is to just cut it in half, a ripe, cut a ripe papaya in half. Always remember to wash your papaya before you cut it. And then take the ends off. You don't need to have that on. And then remove the seeds. You can either just eat it plain with a spoon or you can um, decorate it with some lemon or lime as you wish. Or um, here we have blueberries, where you can put mangoes, whatever. And I also cut some sweet pineapple. On top of this, you can also add um, more lemon if you want. Also you can add mint. Be sure to wash your mint first. And you have a nice breakfast or dessert. Voila! Now, okay, so here's a rainbow papaya. In 1978 we start work. 1984 we started to develop a genetically engineered papaya and the idea was just to take a small part of the gene of the papaya ring spot virus get it into the chromosome of the papaya and that was the concept of pathogen derived resistance we do molecular biology and we utilize the newly developed approach of the particle gun of biolistics so we coat tungsten beads with the DNA, shoot it into uh, embryogenic cells of the papaya, regenerate it, and we tested different lines. And in 1991, we identified a line 55-1 that was resistant. Now line 55-1 is the parent of the rainbow papaya. Now the rainbow papaya is essentially a cross between Line 55-1, which is a red flesh papaya, it was developed from a sunset variety, red flesh. And uh, the non-genetically engineered line is the common Kapoho variety that was dominant before the virus. Uh, hybrid was made, so rainbow papaya is an F1 hybrid between sun, sun papaya, which is transgenic, and non-transgenic papaya, uh, the Kapoho to get the F1 hybrid of the rainbow papaya. And this was released to growers in 1998, May 1998, literally six years after the virus was discovered in Pune. And now it represents 85, 80 to 85% of Hawaii's papaya. Dr. Gonsalves used genetic engineering to make papaya plants resistant to a disease that was going to wipe them out. Today, most Hawaiian papayas in stores across the U.S. 
are his rainbow papayas. In fact, we can enjoy a breakfast of papayas because they are genetically modified. A traditional Hawaiian breakfast. Damn, that's good. <laughs> that is seriously good. Mm. And they are delicious. In the next episode of Cooking with Frank and Food, we're going to talk about who the papayas really impacted the most, the papaya farmers.